There are certain types you should never work with. If you do, it's all on you. Hey again, welcome to the channel where we discuss IT jobs, IT businesses, online businesses and online entrepreneurship. If you're interested in those topics and if you want to build your software company, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon and let's do this together. And if you're a veteran here, welcome back to Gun. Today we will talk about the types of clients you should avoid working with to save your nerves, health, online reputation, finances and business. And there are red flags to spot them. So if you want to increase your chances of building successful client relationships, continue watching. The first type is time wasters, the indecisive type. We don't have any set deadlines as of yet. Uh, let me discuss it with our team internally one more time. You got the idea. The red flag would be that they go back and forth with new objectives, ideas, goals on, of the project, and they are uncertain of what they actually want to do. They're not sure when they want to start. They don't have any set expectations. They don't have any set deadlines. They are not certain of anything they do run away. Time is money and the financial success of your business lies in using your time effectively. If you deal with a customer who tends to change their options and their expectations and their goals every single day, then run away because they waste your time and as a result you become less productive and you produce less money in your business. There is only a limited amount of hours in the day, so don't squander them on clients who continually disrupt your workflow. Procrastinating indecisive type of customer suck in your effective time the time that you could have well used on paying customers and nurturing paying customers or, or any other business activities that would result in actual sales. The second type is geniuses. They know it all. Even if you've been working in software development industry for like 15 years and they heard about this thing just once in their life, they know it better than you. What have you just suggested? That's what a junior college student would suggest. I know for sure and from my experience that it could be done three times faster than this. That is a wrong approach. It doesn't matter what you propose to them. Each time you do, this is wrong. You might have tried thousand options with that customer, but whatever you do, whatever you suggest, nothing is right for that type of customer. They just won't listen and the best way to deal with that type of customers won't be to not taking anything of this personally. It's like having a conversation with someone who has different political views than yours. They talk over you, they talk louder than you, they shoot you with their opinion and you're left frustrated and feeling silly. All you need to do is to be patient and attentive. Keep repeating the same thought to that customer times and over again in a calm, relaxing way and uh, as a result, they tend to actually give in and actually listen to you on like thousands or millions time. You could say things like, I understand you worry, but doing it this way will help you to achieve this because blah, blah, blah. And again, repeat it times and over again in a calm, relaxing way, underlining why it would help and why it would be better this way. And eventually those clients tend to give in and it actually works. It happened to us and we had such an upwork client nightmare, but actually it helped. We did somehow close that project, but yes, such clients are nightmare, but this is how you deal with them. A quick interruption. If you liked the video so far, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, have you ever faced awful clients and what types were they? The third types are aggressors. That's what all agencies do. They try to rob us all. You pay your engineers less than you charge us. You bunch of chits. I know how you operate. You try to rob us. Frankly, you don't want to deal with this type of person at all. But what you need to do is to stay calm uh, um, at least until you've reached some sort of agreement with them. They can be funny sometimes and at least you know what to expect of them and at least you know what they honestly think about you, which is a rare thing these days and a huge advantage. But at the same time, they can be unpredictive and they can, uh, if you react in a wrong way to what they aggressively say to you, they might be unpredictive as well. And uh, this might result in unpleasant situations. So better don't deal with that type of customers. But if you do, hey, we all take sometimes awful projects and awful customers. At least stay calm and don't give in to their aggressive tone. The fourth type is deal hunter. Can you do it cheaper? 
there is the lowest line you should never cross. I would say, in, from my practice, in software development and regular software development, uh, the lowest line that you should never cross is like $35 per hour. And if you are being forced to agree to lower than that, don't. If a client asks you to do it for less or keeps insisting that they don't have money, don't have budget, and could you please do it cheaper, run away. Run away because with this type of client, if you give in once, you will have to give in time and over again because they will feel your weakness. And if it worked once, why it wouldn't work twice? So they will try it again. And such type of customers, they will actually try not to pay you at all. Very often, this is the type who is first trying to make a bargain. And then when they feel that they got their bargain, they think to themselves, why don't take it for free? At the very least, what they can do is to be late with their payments or to ask to do more than agreed it before they actually pay. Disasters never come alone. So the first type of awful customers you should now work with is vampires. I called you on Sunday midnight and you didn't return the call. You could have at least sent me an instant message. I thought that maybe we could add some extra features. Yes, they weren't bespoken previously, but you want good feedback, hey? Along with time, energy is entrepreneur's most valuable resource. So uncommunicative, uncooperative or plain obnoxious clients who won't cooperate with you will drain the energy from you, the energy that you could have spent on other projects, other clients or fighting other sources of income. Their tactics can vary and can range from like passive aggressive tone to plain verbal abuse or to not valuing your time, not knowing what boundaries are and messaging you at all times of the day and night and so on. They are always there to nudge you and to drain the energy from you. Worst of all, their negativity is contagious. So before you get sucked in, drop these relationships as up. Regardless, a business simply cannot do without attracting new customers. Some of those customers might be difficult. Let's not say awful, they are difficult. Um, but you should understand how to deal with them. But better don't deal with them at all. Now, what is your experience working with difficult customers? What was the most difficult customer you ever worked with? Let me know in the comments below. And before we go, make sure to subscribe if you still haven't, hit the bell icon, share this video with your friends and make sure to subscribe to IT People Community waitlist. We'll be soon launching. Now have a great day, have a great mood and stay away from bad experience. Just joking, you can if you want to. Until next Wednesday, bye.